three, two, one, let's go. Good morning everybody and welcome back to PE with Joe. Today, Joe's unavailable, so. What's that? It's a baby shark. It's a baby shark. Hello baby shark. Okay, gonna hold my wand. So, this is Indy, the baby shark. I've got my wonderful teaching assistant. Rosie is back today. We've also got Marley. All families here today. It's a family affair. We're gonna do the whole family workout and um, we're gonna start off by doing our what? So Rosie, can you go over there? Right, Indy. You want the hood up? Yeah. You want it on, okay. So run around, run around like a baby shark, ready? Hang on. You ready to run around like a baby shark? Right, go run, run around. Baby shark, baby shark. Baby shark! Okay, so Rosie, exercise number one. We're going to start off with our little warm up. Then we're going to go into our workout together. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wizard, but you're a wizard, Harry. I'm sorry, me and Molly aren't dressed up. Okay, so first one, Rosie. We're going to do a squat like this, and then twist round. Okay. So squat down and twist, squat and twist. Good. So do a few on each one of those. We're going to get our warm up. Then we're going to go into our 20 minute workout. We've got 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 30 second rest. Perfect. Next one, Rosie, is going to be a lunge and reach up. Good. So lunge and reach up. Baby shark, come here, baby shark. Hey, come here, baby shark. The shark actually has a speed. Baby shark, good, so good, 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 good. good. So there's five spot the differences today. Good. So keep lunging. Big stretch. We're going to get nice and warmed up. Okay, next one, Rosie, is going to a high plank. So high plank position. Then open your chest. So rotate, do a T open. You remember to open those. Rotate. Ooh. Perfect. Hand down. What have you got, Indy? What's that? What's that called? That's called an iron. Perfect. We've got a few on each side, Rosie. We've got another four and a half minutes. We're going to do some shout outs at the halfway point and at the end. So please let us know in the comments where you are in the world. If you're doing fancy, just what are you dressed up as? Indy, you're a shark! So next one, standing up, Rosie. Arms up to the side and we're going to touch our toes. Touch our toes. Do you want a little, um, do you want a little sit down there? Can I give you my wand? No. No? Okay. She's not interested in one today. So at left to right, touching those toes. Perfect. Next one, Rosie's going to be marching on the spot, bringing that elbow to the knee. So elbow across. Hello, Marley. Hello, little sausage. You're a wizard, Marley. You're going to go to Hogwarts and learn spells and stuff. You're going to get a wand and a, and a broomstick. Like me, you're going to be a wizard. Right, so keep touching those ones. Elbow to knee. Next one then we're going to do is some rotation, so little, oh, sorry. oh nearly, nearly, nearly kick the baby shot. So rotate, left to right, oh, shark. elbows, me. up, good, we've got another oh, three. No. Oh, there's a shark! Okay, next one we're going to do is some circles, right? so big circles with the arms, big circles backwards. Can you copy me? Indy, can you do circles like this? Do the exercises. Circles back, <laughs> keep going. Yep. I can't believe there's a baby shark in the living room! Right, big circles back. Big circles forwards, and the next one, Rose, is jogging on the spot. Light little jog on the spot. Perfect. And then what I'd like you to do now is just a few squats. So it's nice and low, and then when you get down, just sort of rotate left. You can put your hand on the ground. So rotate left. Get that twist. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. Right, Indy, come here, darling. Oh. Yeah, keep doing a few more of those, three more of those. And we're going to start in about 30 seconds' time. Okay, next one, Rose, is jogging on the spot gently. Jennifer, hey, little spot. Indy, I've got some little berries for you, darling. Indy, come over here, darling. I've got some berries. Look, some berries. Sit down there. Sit down like a little baby She's shark. a blueberry monster. Slowly eat your berries. Okay, so Rosie, we're going to start off exercise number one. It's called the Harry Squatters. Oh, okay? I like that. So you squat down and then you tsh, squat down and you, tsh, you okay. sort of cast your wand tsh, spell, yeah? You've got to imagine you've got one. You can use my wand. Okay, so here we go. I'm starting in five seconds time with 30 seconds of Harry Squatters. In three, <laughs> two, one, let's go. So squat down and then whoosh, cast your spell. Good. Okay, and what I'm does she say? What does Hermione say? Can you remember? What does she say to make something levitate? Uh, uh, what is keep it? Keep doing your exercise. Oh, I've, I've had a mind blank. Wingardium. Leviosa? Wingardium Leviosa is what she says. Right, so keep doing your squats. We're going up oh, and out, Indy, brush them the blueberries, that's all we've got. So take them slow, that's it, you're going to count them. You count the blueberries, keep going, oh, what have I done? Hang on, just had the wrong timer on. Right, so 30 second rest, 30 second rest. <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds, okay, the okay. timer will be set. Right, okay. So volume up. 
Okay, next exercise is gonna be, Rosie, you run on the spot like this, and when the dragons come, you've got to duck the dragon. Yeah, so run on the spot and duck. So when I say dragon, you duck. Okay. You finished. Okay, here we go, 10 seconds time. So run as fast as you can. When I say duck, you go, duck. Okay. And the dragons are flying over your head. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. So running nice and quick. Good. Dragon, duck. Good. <laughs> Run as fast as you can. Ah, dragon, duck! Get down. It's really weird being instructed by Harry Potter. Dragon, go! Ah. Perfect. Keep running. Oh, I can see one. There, look. Down. Duck. Keep running. <laughs> Come on, faster. And duck. Good. Keep running. We've got eight seconds. Rosie, there's a dragon coming. <laughs> there, duck. Good. Now sprint. Three, two, one. And relax. Okay, next exercise is the forward lunge with a wand. So. It's a, or you can go, use that, use that so you don't feel silly. So it's a forward lunge with a, throw that, throw that wand. Oh, it's a blueberry squish. Oh no. It's a blueberry squish. Okay, right. Ooh. So Rosie, when you're ready. Oh, I like that one out. Six. Come here, darling. Mommy. Three, two, one. Right, Indy, can you count the blueberries? Good, so nice big lunge in there. You like doing exercises that involve this, it's like a sword or a... Yeah, you need to have a prop. So imagine you're a wizard, you've got your wand and your... You've got to throw the wand, cast a spell. There's Potter Potter out there today. There's got to be some Harry Potter fans out there. Right, 10 Good seconds morning. to go. Keep going, Rosie. We've got six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I've just realised I'm Harry, you're Hermione. Oh, right, so next one, Rosie, is a high plank, high plank, and then we do a shoulder tap. So high plank, yeah. high plank position, and then you're just gonna, from there, you tap one shoulder, good, and then you swap. So, and then you can also do it from your knees as well, down from the knees, so you can do the same thing. Have you finished? Brilliant. I can see some in your hands still. Okay, so Rosie, when you're ready, in five seconds, shoulder taps in what? three, two, one, off we go. Marley seems happy. Are you running around? <laughs> baby shark, baby shark, baby shark. Everyone's gonna hate us because that's me stuck in their head. Baby shark. It stays in your head for like a week. Rosie, you have got 15 seconds on the clock. So look, she's keeping a nice straight back. She's squeezing her abs, squeezing her, her glutes, and she's keeping her abs tight and not rocking too much left and right. Good. Last few seconds, Rosie, you've got five seconds on the clock. Well done, everybody. Keep it going. Three, two, one. And relax, perfect. Right, Rosie, next exercise, number four, is four star jumps. So, one, yeah. two, three, four, and then four jumps. One, two, three, four. So, four star jumps, four, four squat star jumps. Four squat jumps. It's quite nice having a 30 second rest. We've been having like 20 seconds of really short rest, so a bit more rest time. Okay. But in the second half, we are going to go 35, 25. Okay, so four star jumps, okay. four squat jumps. Look at him, look at him bouncing around. Three, two, one. And go, one, perfect. Well done, two, let's go. Three, three four, four, and then four one, jumps. One, two, two, three. Oh, the quiz! Four. Oh, oh yeah. quiz. Right, keep going. So the quiz that I wrote this last night with Rosie, it's a super fun movie quiz. Super fun movie quiz. So, Indy, no, no writing on the, on the board today. Right, first question. What is Harry Potter's owl called? What is Harry Potter's owl called? Five seconds to go. Come on, everybody. Indy, Indy. Indy, give, give Marley a little tickle. So, Harry Potter's owl is called Hedwig. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Question number two, Rosie. What's the name of the motorcycle stub man in Toy Story 4? So, next exercise, Rosie, climb the, climb the rope. Climb the rope. Climb the rope. Question number two, what is the name of the motorcycle stunt man in Toy Story 4? What is the name of the stunt man in Toy doing? Story 4? Okay, Rosie, here we go in five seconds. Climb that rope in three, two, one. Let's go. Right, perfect. So, the answer is, the stuntman in Toy Story 4 who rides the motorcycle is called Duke Kaboom. And Duke Kaboom, little bonus point, who plays the voice of Duke Kaboom? Do you know this one, Rosie? Only because I just saw it on there. Oh, bit, he loves motorbikes. I haven't seen it, so I didn't know. Yeah. Yes? Oh, you're holding your hand? That's cute. The answer is Duke Kaboom and it's Keanu Reeves. Okay, Rosie, keep going. Climb that rope, climb that rope. High knees, high knees. Woo! Your next. Oh, and relax. So, Rosie. Crazy shark. Next one, your favourite. 
Number seven. Push up. Push up. So down the ground. Well, I should be better than that. <laughs> right, so that, uh, on your knees, off four push ups um, for 30 seconds. Starting in. Wait, we've got 15 yeah. seconds rest. You're going to give Indy a little toy. A graph. So, number three. What is the real name of Hulk in the movie Avengers? So, what is the real name of the Hulk in the movie The Avengers? Okay, go. Press ups in three, two, one, let's go! Marley's in the house. We've got a baby shark. We've got Rosie, the wonderful teaching assistant, and we've oh. also got oh. Harry Potter. <laughs> Twenty seconds. I'm not strong enough. Oh, that's hard. That's a hard push up. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> seconds. <laughs> the baby shark's attacking <laughs> mummy. Go on, Rosie. You can do a couple more. Eight seconds. Keep it going. Strong abs. Keep your abs tight. Five. Right. One more push up. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Well done, Rosie. Right. Next exercise is going to be standing up, darling. Uh, number three, what is the real name of the Hulk in the movie The Avengers? The answer is Bruce Banner. Right, Rosie, that was it. Next question is, so next exercise is going to be sumo squat. So nice wide stance, turn the feet wide, and it's like low pulsing squats, yeah? So 30 seconds in the nice low pulsing squats. Indy, I love you. How much do I love you? How much do I love you? I love you to the... Moon and the moon and the stars. Right, so squats. So go down, nice and low. Question number four: Who is turned into a black cat in the movie Hocus Pocus? Who is Favorite turned into a black cat in the movie Hocus Pocus? Right, Rosie. Lovely squats. Great technique. Nice straight back. Indy Harper Wicks. We've got Indy Harper Wicks and Marley Luca Wicks over there. Right, four seconds. Three, two, one. The answer is. Who is turned into a black cat in the movie Hocus Pocus? It's Thackeray Binks. Thackeray Binks. Indy, what have you got there, darling? Ooh, is it a toy? Right, next question. Right, so next exercise is going to be bicycle punch. So on your back, bicycle punch. This is number nine. Can we open it for you? I can do that, Rosie. I'll open that. Right. So come over here, sausage. Come here, Indy. And I'll open it for you. So bicycle Yeah, bicycle crunches. Indy, can you do the blocks? Can you show me how you do the blocks? Okay, right, so bicycle crunches for 30 seconds. What do you want, darling? No, four of them? Okay, keep going. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds on the clock. Indy, I'm going to do my emergency snack now, okay? Ready for the emergency snack? Stay there, stay there, stay there. It's the emergency snack time. Stay there, are you ready? Hold it. Keep going, Rosie, five seconds. <laughs> this is making you happy, isn't it? Right. One. Wait, right, so sit there and hold that as your emergency snack. Okay, Rosie, next one's going to be curtsy lunge. So standing up and you lunge backwards like you're doing a curtsy to the queen, yeah? Yes. Okay, I don't know why she calls me Rosie. So, you ready? I'm your mummy. Next question, Rosie. Who plays the character Buddy? Who plays the character Buddy the Elf? So, we're we going to our lunges. So, perfect. You sort of step back and you bring your foot across to the side. These are called curtsy lunges. Who plays the character Buddy the Elf? The answer is Will Ferrell. That's a great, one of my favourite Christmas movies. It's become my favourite Christmas movie. Right, Rosie, this is the last exercise. Then we have a two minute rest. Question number six. Which movie is Olaf the Snowman from? Which movie is Olaf the Snowman from? Perfect technique, Rosie. Last few seconds. Five seconds on the clock. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Perfect. Right. Really good effort, Rosie. Have a little drink. We've got a two minute rest. Sit down, darling, on your bottom. Little baby shark. Right, so two minute rest. Nikki, let's do some shout outs. Happy 20th birthday to Gigi in Richmond, where I live. Oh. Happy, uh, ha good morning, Leon, who's dressed as a, as a ninja. Yeah, against karate. Good. We've got Archie and Tate dressed as Buzz and Woody. We've got Buzz and Woody. James in Monmouth dressed as Wolfman. Brilliant. Happy seventh birthday to Oscar, who's also dressed like me as Harry Potter. Yay! Should I do your poppers up? Stand up. Good morning, Sienna in France, dressed as a, a beautiful gymnast. Good morning, Sienna. Hello to Vale Primary School in Langley Vale. Have a lovely day, everybody.
We've got a minute to go. Sam and Thomas dressed as ninjas in Manchester. Hello to Vivian and Anya in Australia, all the way over here. Look how big that is. One more, Nikki. Hello to Sasha and Florence in Bristol. Okay, Rosie, so up on your feet. Um, sorry, we're gonna do the crab toe touch. Just remember that, so down on the ground like this, and then you touch your, um, your toes. Can you just stand right quickly? So lift up, and then you touch. One foot touches the, yeah, so opposite hand touches the opposite foot. Indy, come and sit down here, darling. Can you sit here with me? Come and sit with Daddy. I'll sit with you. Come here. Come and sit with me. Okay, so we're starting in 10 seconds time. Come here. Can I have a snack? No, one. Come and sit with me then. Right, here we go. Five seconds. Four, three, two. That's right, you can have it, darling. Come and sit over here. Sit with Marley, look. Sit with Marley and watch Mummy and Daddy do our exercise, yeah? Okay, so 30 seconds, Rose, perfect. So we're doing 35-25. Yeah. So as you can see, you're lifting your bottom off the ground and then trying to touch the hand to your toe. It's working your, you know, your triceps, but also your core, your glutes. Right, keep going, Rosie. 15 seconds. Next question. Oh, sorry. Which movie is Olaf the Snowman from? The answer was Frozen. Eight seconds, Rosie. Keep going, lifting the bottom up as high as you can. Last few seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, on, high five. High five, that's a tough one. Thank you. Okay, question number seven. What is the name of the race cup in the movie Cars? What is the name of the race cup in the movie Cars? So Rosie, next one up, we're gonna get a power squat. So we go down, up, down, up, down, up. So power squats, number 12, for 35 seconds. Come into the middle, darling. Three, two, one, and let's go. So you go out with the feet, and then together. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Out. I kind of wasn't concentrating when you... That's good, that's perfect. Show me what to do. That's it, look, is mummy good at exercise? <laughs> She's <laughs> strong, isn't she? Okay, so the answer was, what is the name of the race cup in the movie Cars? It's the Piston Cup. It's the Piston Cup. Number eight, what film's main character is a robotic rubbish collector? What film's main character is a robotic rubbish collector? This is a great film. Rosie, eight seconds on the clock. Eight seconds, then we're going to be going down onto our elbows for an elbow plank in four. Three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. So everyone have a little breather. 25 seconds on the clock. We're now going to be doing some nice, simple elbow planks. So Rosie, on your elbows. Um, nice straight back. Oh, um, either from your knees or up your knees. So can you just down that one quickly? So elbow plank is obviously full plank or knee on the knees. It's like that. And just keep him, your abs tight. Nice straight back. Lifting up then, Rosie. In three, two, one. Let's go. So. 35 second plank. The answer is, the movie whose main character is a, is a robotic rubbish collector is Wally. I love Wally. What a great movie. Indy. I'm so scared she's going to come and sit on my back. Shall I read the next question? Yeah? The next question is, what is the name of the great white shark in Finding Nemo? What is the name of the great white shark in Finding Nemo? What is the name of the great white shark in Finding Nemo? The answer is, it's Bruce. Keep going, right? Just a long 35 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic. Okay. Next one you're going to do, Rosie, so is six mountain climbers, one burpee. So in the, in the, in the plank position, okay. you do six climbers, two, three, four, five, six, jump up, and then go back down. So six and one, yeah. six and one. The answer is, the name of the great white shark in Finding Nemo is... Bruce. Is Bruce. Lovely question. <laughs> Rosie found that, found, that, found that one. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So six climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, jump up. And again, six climbers, one burpee. Next question, number 10. What is the name of the toy store in Home Alone 2? Nikki, what's the name of the toy store in Home Alone 2? <coughs> Duncan's Toy Chest. Did you get it right? It's Dun no, he didn't get it right. It's Duncan's Toy Chest. The name of the toy store in Home Alone 2 is Duncan's Toy Chest. Rosie, 13 seconds, you're doing so well. Six mountain climbers, one burpee. Six climbers, one burpee in five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. Good work, good finish. Well done. Have a little drink, Rose, if you want. Quick little break. Okay, so next question, number 11. What is the name of Simba's dad in Lion King? Is it A, Mufasa, B, Scar, or C, Rafiki? Next question, Rosie, is gonna be toe touch, toe touch crunches. So on your back, toe touch crunches, um, lang, uh, legs up in the air, and then just trying to crunch up, trying to touch those toes. Good, you've got a few seconds to rest. 
Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, have you got your little blankie? So Marley's teething at the moment. His cheeks have gone really red because his teeth are coming through, aren't they, Indy? He's got his new teeth coming. Indy, what is Marley? A yeah, what? He's a cheek. He's a cheeky. He's a cheeky monkey. That's what she calls him, a cheeky That's monkey. Silly Billy. And Indy, who's your best friend? I'm Marley. Marley's your best friend. You've got 12 seconds to go, everybody. Keep crunching, touching those toes. Good work, Rosie. Really strong abs. Keep it going. The answer is Simba's dad is called A. Mufasa. Mufasa is uh, Simba's dad. And relax. Well done, Rosie. <gasps> Next one's going to be, you haven't done these yet, it's the kangaroos. So up we get. Joey in the pouch, and essentially, oh, imagine there's a big tree here, one, and you've got to just jump, so jump, okay. jump, left to right. Okay, you're doing so well, Rosie. Thank you for always being here when I need you the most. So next question, number 12. What is the name of the girl who can't stop eating bubble gum in Willy Wonka? And off we go. What is it? Excuse me, Joey, hands up, protect, and... Isn't your Joey down here? Up there, sits higher up. Right, so... What is the name of the girl who can't stop eating bubble gum in Willy Wonka? Rosie, do you know the answer to this one? Violet Beauregard? It's Violet Beauregard. So Very the girl good. who can't stop eating bubble gum in Willy Wonka is Violet Beauregard. Rosie, you've got 12 seconds. Doing really well. Get those big jumps. So left to right, you're a kangaroo. All the way. The next question, number 13. What is the name? And relax, well done, Rose. That's a good one. It's a tough exercise. That's tough. What is the name of the broom Harry Potter gets in his first year at Hogwarts? So it's the first broom that I got in Harry Potter. Which film? Uh, which is the name? What is the name of the broom? Okay, so next one, Rosie. It's that. gonna be number seventeen. Mountain coming straight up. Thirty-five Ooh. seconds. So over here, okay. hands in the high plank position, and go nice and quick. Four seconds to go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Right. So mountain climb is perfect. The answer is. The name of the broom that Harry got in his first year at Hogwarts is the Nimbus 2000. So the Nimbus 2000, and he went on to play Quidditch, didn't he? Okay, so we've got 20 seconds on the clock. Rosie demonstrating a really great mountain climber. Question number 14. What is the name of the Mexican tradition celebrated in the movie Coco? What is the name of the Mexican tradition celebrated in the movie Coco? Right, Rosie, you look really good. Keep going, everyone. You've got seven, six seconds. Five, keep working. Four, three, two... One, and relax. Brilliant, Rosie, that's great. That the answer time. is, it's called Dia de los Muertos, which means the Day of the Dead. So in Coco, they celebrate Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Well done, everyone. We've got six more questions to go. Six more questions. Okay, so Rosie, the next one is going to be running and punching. So standing up, you run on the spot, and you throw nice, fast punches as quick as you can. Starting in three seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Nice and quick. Question number 15. Where does the trunch ball put naughty kids to punish them in Matilda? Nikki, where does the trunch ball put the naughty kids? Oh, come on. Oh, Nikki. Where does she put them? Where does she send them? The chokey. It's the chokey. Children get put in the chokey by Miss Trunchbull in the movie Matilda. Right, keep going, Rosie. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two. One, and relax. Well done, Rosie. Brilliant effort. Okay, number 16. Who ate Captain's Hook? Uh, who ate Captain's Hook hand in the movie Hook? Was it A, a crocodile, B, an alligator, or C, a shark? Was it a baby shark? You've dropped some on the floor, haven't you, Lit? Can you see them? Right, the answer is, Captain Hook's hand is chopped off by Hook, uh, Pete's hand, and it's fed to a crocodile. Right, Rosie, the next one's going to be... The uh, run and punch. Have we done that one? Lunch, lunch. Oh, yeah, so it's lunge, lunge, lunge oh, yeah. so two lunges and then a squat. So you go lunge, so it's lunge, lunge, and then a squat. Perfect, right. So, next question Marley, what does Paddington Bear, you okay? What does Paddington Bear keep under his hat in case of an emergency? Is it A, toilet roll, B, marmalade sandwich, or C, a jar of honey? What does Paddington keep under his hat in case of an emergency? Toilet roll marmalade, a marmalade sandwich, or a jar of honey? The answer is... Marmalade sandwich. A marmalade course. sandwich. Well, we've only got three more questions. So the next exercise, Rosie, is going to be three push-ups, one burpee. So you just go down the ground for three push-ups and jump up for one burpee. Okay, in the movie Shrek, who does he make friends with? So in the movie, who does Shrek make friends with? Well, who does Shrek make friends with? Okay, Rosie, ready for your three push-ups? 
And then, here come here darling. Three press ups and then one burpee. The answer is Shrek makes friends with a donkey. No! Come here darling. Come here just in case mummy, um, mummy jumps too high into the ceiling. Right, the answer is donkey. Question number 19. What is the name of the 10 year old boy who finds an alien in E.T. What is the name of the boy who finds an alien in E.T.? Right, so everybody, you've only got 10 seconds, it's the last exercise. Keep working everybody, last few seconds, Rose, you're doing so well. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And relax, well done Rosie, fantastic, we completed the workout. Great effort. The answer was the name of the 10 year old boy who finds an alien in E.T. is called Elliot. So that's the boy. Last question, Rosie, this is the fun one, you're gonna do this with me. Oh. So sit up then. We spent a long time practicing. Ready? You do it with me? You're sitting. <laughs> Last question. Right, you, you get Marley, Rose, and I'll do the, I'll do the okay. question then. You get Marley. So the last question is, who sings this song and in which movie? Ready? And you have yeah. to join in at home if you yeah. don't mind. Right. Kid, honestly, I can go on and on. I can explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. Oh, that was Maui just messing around. I kid and ill, I buried its guts. Sprout of the tree, now you've got coconut. What's the lesson? What is the takeaway? Don't wish for Maui when he's on the breakaway. And the tapestry here on my skin is the map of the victories I win. Look where I am, look where I've been, I make everything happen. Look at that minimum hour, just typically happening. Ha, ha, ha. What movie is that from and who sings it? You get a bonus point if you know who sings that it. That was such an uncool dad moment. Oh, I loved it. I just, in my head I was singing it perfectly. I just know I was we so We were doing upbeat. that at the kitchen table at 10 o'clock last night. We wrote, wrote it down it, again. we've been trying to remember it. Uh, the answer is, the song is sung by Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the movie Ma uh, Moana. Ma Maui? Moana. So it's, it's, it's Maui what singing it in, um, in the movie Moana. So there's our quiz. Spot the differences are, number one, Little Elephant. Number two is the iron. Number three is this ad will. Number four is this words book. And number five is little dummy. Indy, do you little dummy? No. No? Yeah. You want it? Yeah? So. Aww. Little fun facts as well. Believe it or not, me and a few of my friends were actually in the last Harry Potter film. So the Deathly Hallows part one and two. I was an extra running through the forest. I was a Death Eater and a sw uh, Snatcher. This is so, your proudest moment. Oh yeah, true story. When I was at university, me and a few friends did it. So yeah, if you ever see like loads of people running towards the castle, um, it's me and about 300 people, but we look like a million because they CGI'd it. So thank you for all your, um, well, thank you for tuning in. How many did we have today, Nikki? Just over 200,000. So, um, well look, thank you from Rosie. Thank, thank you, you from Marley. Indy, should we say goodbye Sorry, to everyone? Sorry, it's a bit hectic. Take your dummy out. Yeah, it's a bit bye. of a manic one. Ready, so I'll, I'll say, you can say bye. Bye. Bye everybody, bye. and then you can say bye. Say bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. No, see you Monday. See you Monday at 9 a.m. Bye everybody. Have a nice weekend.